What's up? We got the cure. The cure? To the 200 mile an hour. Your car? Yeah. Two, 200? 200 miles an hour. 200 miles per hour. Yes. It's in this box? Yes. Okay. Well, let's see what you got. I, but 200? I didn't stutter, did I? Uh, I? I stutter a lot, but I didn't stutter. Yeah, you, right you do stutter a lot. It's like Christmas morning, but it's not. Now that's a good packing job. That's a pretty good packing job. Oh, I can. Oh man. <laughs> and creep. <laughs> that thing's huge. She it looks small, but it's thick. Yeah, She's big. thick. All right, so we got a new Long, new intercooler for the 69. It's, um, I can't remember the dimensions. I think it's like 25 inches wide by 12 or 11. 10 or 12 tall and then six inches thick. And we're replacing. That one was three inches wide. Three inches thick, and it was uh, nine inches tall. And Twenty-two inches long. Twenty-two inches long. So this one is bigger in every way, but twice as thick. And it's a better core, so it should flow more. The wintertime upgrades have started. Steven's decided to build this core out of uh, cardboard. We'll see how this plays out. What are you running your mouth about? You think? I heard your. I just heard the sound of your voice, and it sounded like you were making fun of me about something. No, I was just telling the people how talented you were. I doubt that. So. I can't hear good. I think I've heard one too many. Huh? Yeah. Okay. While I was videoing like this. Yeah. You on the start line. <laughs> yeah. You, I've been like this a few times. Like, they make earplugs, you know. Yeah, but you look ghetto if you got earplugs. Yeah, you look like a sissy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to look like a real man with hearing aids one day. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we're going to try to try out cardboard this year yeah i mean i think with enough tape it should be fine duct tape yeah we might use some zip ties too that worked pretty well yeah with the christmas tree thing yeah yeah no we're actually doing a real good job we're here, actually hopefully. doing yeah hopefully we are like so, we've never took the, i don't think we've ever took the time to do a cardboard template no but this is going to be pretty nice so we got the big six inch core in there we've got it all taped up just so we don't beat it up and just a mock-up pipe kind of stuck in there. But, uh, yeah, we took some measurements and decided on this kind of shape for the top of the core. And I think it looks pretty cool. Just paint it silver and nobody knows. It's cardboard. No, no, you don't. Yeah. All right. So you got some stuff marked out over here? Yeah. So this is what we're gonna use. It's quarter inch aluminum, which is way overkill, but we like things to be heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can brag about how heavy we are, how fast we're going, how heavy we are. <laughs> yeah, what's... Well, my car weighs 3,900 pounds. <laughs> More of those micro records. Yeah. Yeah. But we got the, the top piece drawn out. We're gonna go ahead and cut this out. And... I'm gonna cut it with my good hand here. Your steady hand? Yeah. Okay, well, have at it. Okay.
All right, so we got the top piece tacked on. It's kind of the general shape of what this thing's gonna be. We'll have the, the pipe going to the intake coming out right here at the front. And then I kind of sketched out the, the front and the back plate. So we'll go ahead and cut those out with a plasma cutter and then kind of sketched out what the bottom tank is gonna look like. So on the bottom, um, we'll have two uh, inlets. So there'll be an inlet on this side and then an inlet on that side over there and just a single outlet. So this is probably what we're gonna go with as far as the design on the end tank. That's what it would look like if you stood it up. Um, two and a half inch hole and um, yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna work. We're gonna try to make it as narrow up top as we can, just to gain us some room, because it's you know it's a six inch thick core, so we're having to be six inches down here, but trying to taper up as much as possible, just to uh, gain as much room as we can in in the front bumper of a '69 Camaro. But we'll get these cut out. All right, we are back at it this morning. A little cold in the shop. A little bit. But we got the heater. Yeah, the heater's, heater's doing a good job. Um, we, we got all the end tanks cut out yesterday, but we had to go to a friend's shop and use their brake to bend that uh, bottom end tank, where it's actually the top where it sits right now. But that's quarter inch aluminum in our little bitty sheet metal brake. No, we need to upgrade that. Wouldn't do it. Yeah, so we uh, we got all the pieces cut out now, and we're about ready to start welding this thing up entirely. We'll still have to cut the holes in those little ends, because that'll be where the, the inlet will be. And then that's the outlet going to the, the intake. Um, and we decided to make this bottom intake one piece, but we still have to divide it here in the middle um so that the turbos aren't fighting each other or something i don't i don't really know why you have to do that but you get one dominant turbo over the other and it just sucks all that or something i don't know so we're going to create a little baffle in here we're going to weld like a so air coming in this way will hit this wall inside and kind of be directed towards the core and then the same for the other side it's kind of going to be a v inside a lot of people do it on the outside of the tank um just create you know a v on the outside of the tank and that's actually the way that we built mine but after and the way the other one was yeah yeah but i think we can do the same job and it looks a little cleaner this way just having one solid end tank and it was easier because we just had to make two bins yeah. so we're going to get this thing welded up and Get it back on the car. All right, there's our baffle. Well, you don't want people to see the welds in there? No, that didn't turn into good. <laughs> okay. We're going to pause it. We're going to pause it, yeah. I'll slow it down to that point. Oh. But those welds will never be seen again. But you can kind of see the outline uh, in that tank. 
right there and right there. So it's pretty neat that it's gonna direct the air, um, but the end tank was able to stay completely flat. So that's pretty neat. Should work pretty good. So I think this thing's ready to weld up now. Clamp her down. Clamp it down. This. You forgot to press the pedal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I've bent this one too many times already. Oh, no, the flex yeah, head? It's called a flex head, but it's not really. You're not supposed to flex it? Yeah. Okay. Even in the directions, it says. Do not flex. Yeah, don't flex it no more than you need to. So we can't ever bend it anymore. This is a big job, though. You know, one torch head for one job, that's pretty good. No. <laughs> Back at work, we used to have these and we had them duct taped right there because they broke. Oh, And then as keep, you, keep the gas in them? Yeah, and as you weld, you start smelling that duct tape burning. <laughs> Sweet. Well, this is a brand new torch, so let's, let's not do that. Uh, okay. That, was that just laying in there? Yeah, it, it's just in there from last year, I guess. Was that there in Maryland? Yeah. Well, okay. It's like that time we beat on the back fender and a can of WD-40 <laughs> and a screwdriver and what else fell out. And it wasn't ours. It's it was a long time. It was from 1960s. <laughs> yeah. We's, our fender was hitting our tire, and so we was beating on it trying to get some clearance out of it. and. When we put on <laughs> WD-40 fell out, old can. Old can. And a, and a screwdriver and something else. You'll never know what you're going to find with these old cars. I think it was, uh, I think it was right in this, this area right here. <laughs> I think there's a cavity where you, in your trunk it could go over there and get down in there. Well, didn't 69 Camaros have, um, what was it, that liquid, liquid chains or something? that have you seen those pictures I've seen an old picture. there's like a canister in the rear wheel well that when you press a button or pull a lever or something it sprays something on your rear tires that <laughs> makes some sort of traction device i don't know i think that was added on yeah, that was a yeah <laughs> that was add-on. all right so we got the intercooler all done and we got it tied in place with some good high tensile rope yes that should hold yeah hold. yeah but thing turned out pretty sweet. Yeah. And it's fitting in there really good. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing mounted up and we got a whole bunch of other upgrades to do. You can kind of see one of them. My boy hooked me up for Christmas. Yeah. Got me some headers for it. Those are, those are pretty sweet. Those will be a whole lot better than these yeah. old, oh goodness oh, gracious. Shit. Those are horrible. Huh. Yeah. And our exhaust is gonna get we're gonna upgrade really the fancy. exhaust, yeah. 
this whole thing's getting changed. So we're gonna we're gonna get to it, and we'll see you guys in the next video.